All right, uh, hey guys, Ham Solo here, K0FYR, or in uh, GMRS world, WRMV759. Uh, what I've come out here to do today is a follow up to my uh, Better Safe Radios uh, Ocean or Wuxin uh, UV9GX and the UV9PX. And uh, gonna talk about uh, how I feel about them after I've had them now for you know, let's say a couple months. And so, uh, first thing off, uh, that I get a lot is, uh, it doesn't look like it's easy to see the screen in the sunlight. And that had been the problem. Uh, I've talked to Mark at Better Safe Radios about that. There is an intent to, uh, change out the screen. Uh, so it might be more viewable in the meantime, uh, he programmed in some different types of uh, modes inside of the radios to see if they were uh, better visible uh, during the day. I have uh, currently two modes that are that are loaded in, one of each radio. They're both the same uh, face on the radio. And so uh, this one right here is going to be uh, the black background with the white letters. And I believe that one is called Day 2 in the uh, in the programming software and so i have day two up and it's on and it's very hard to see and so you know shaded or whatever uh, you might be able to see it uh, when you're definitely when you're in a room you can see it but in the direct sunlight uh, i cannot see uh, the screen i mean it's barely visible i get that i am on uh, i that i have some gmrs channels on but all of the other uh, little indicators, including, uh, you know, if it's a repeater or not, if it's got tones or not, I can't see any of those things. And I can barely see when I'm switching uh, the band up and down to see it. And this is in full sunlight. And so uh, that day number two, I believe it is, uh, is very hard to see. Um, in my 9PX, again, same uh, face of the radio, same screen. Uh, I went back to the default like it used to have in the 9, uh, 9G Pro, uh, which was GMRS radio. And so this is uh, the screen with the white background with the blue letters. And again, in full sunlight, uh, I can barely see any of that. And so kind of that's where I'm at right now with the uh, with the screens very difficult to see uh even activating and moving the band button with the white background with the blue letters very difficult to see and that is just the normal or i think they call it he calls it original in the programming and so right now the uh, black background white letters and the white background with the blue letters is difficult to see on both of them and so i am going to go into the uh into my computer and I have to change the screens from there. I tried to make it a shortcut key, but you can't. And so I'm gonna go into the computer and I'm gonna change it to covert and day number one, which is gonna be the black background with the yellow letters and the black background with the red letters. And so let me get those two going as well. Now, I will say that it's not the easiest to see the computer either, but I can at least see the words on the computer and, uh, you know, see what I'm getting ready to program. So, uh, just kind of get a little fairness on the screen. This is a pretty bright, uh, out is clear blue sky and sun is, uh, right about the 11 o'clock position in Colorado Springs. So it's, it's also, uh, kind of hurt your skin. All right. So, uh, just program the two radios and i will tell you uh kind of what i saw last night uh when i was checking this out because i've never turned this one on um the covert with the black background with the red letters is actually so dark that i can't see anything on the screen at all and i know it's on because the battery indicator is the only thing that shows up and it's green everything else is red font and i cannot i cannot read a single word almost even if i put my eye right up to the screen now i i did have this uh in my room last night uh that i put that on just to check it out it was it was hard to see 
even in my room with the uh, uh, regular light bulbs on. And so that one is, uh, you'd have to be uh, in complete darkness with the red red on to barely give off enough light. And I guess the intent, I know he, he calls it covert, the intent is so that you could see it at night without throwing a lot of light out. And I get that, but it's definitely, you can't see it in the sun for sure. Uh, this is the one that I had been rocking for a while. And this is gonna be the yellow uh, letters against the black background. Uh, again, it's brighter than the other two. And this one's called Day One. And so it's it's brighter and it may not even be coming out on the screen of the, of the uh, phone. But in full on sunlight, it is very difficult to see. Um, it, is, it is not uh, the easiest thing to see in the sun, for sure. And so from that standpoint, uh, when I had on the UVPX, and all these four modes are the same on both, when I had the uh, classic mode, that's what he calls it, the original mode classic, is the white background with the blue letters, hard to see in the sun. Uh, day one, the black background with the yellow letters. Again, fairly hard to see in the sun. Day two, black background with white letters. Uh, more difficult than the one with the yellow letters. So uh, definitely not, you can just turn it on and see it. it it's, it's a, you'd have to get pretty close to both of the red letter, or I'm sorry, both of the yellow letter and white letter, and even the white background with the blue letters. You have to get close to the radio to see it in full sunlight. Um, the covert mode, don't even try that during the day. I can't see it uh, at all. And so uh, a little bit of a disappointment. Uh, you know, I really wish they would do something to fix that screen, uh, but it is incredibly hard in, to see the screens in full sunlight. And that's just uh, the way it is right now with this radio. Uh, again, he's mentioned that uh, um, there might be an attempt to change the screen more to uh you know like like i, I want i'll say a bow thing like the bow thing screens almost like an lcd type of thing that you can see like a calculator um we'll see how that goes uh the audio is incredible i mean you can't beat super heterodyne on these radios the audio is incredible transmit is decent um i have uh, neither one of them right now has a stock antenna so this has a 5 8 ways stubby this is for gmrs and on this one, I bought a 15-inch uh, diamond, and uh, this is for my uh, my ham radio. Um, the the thing I want to say about that is, I'm I guess I've never run the battery down where uh, you know because I keep my daily carry, which is now the PX, I keep that on all the time, and there's no indicator that the battery is getting low audibly. You know, usually with those, you have a beep, you have a, some type of, uh, you know, battery low or, or voice indication, and there's just nothing. The Basically, the battery dies, and you just don't know that the radio turned off. And so, I, I don't like that. Uh, that's been a disappointment uh, that I can't tell when the battery's about to die. Uh, there's no there's no audible indicator whether it's a beep or uh, you know somebody saying low battery or something like that. So that's uh, been a little uncomfortable with the standpoint of sometimes uh, you know I'll go over there and, and and I want to you know be know that I'm I'm monitoring channels but it died and I didn't know it was off. So screen difficult in the sun, uh, no battery indicator audible telling you that the battery's dying. Um, Transmit and receive are great, uh, but I don't know for, especially with my ham radio for my daily carry, uh, it, it's it's missing a few things that I, I feel that I, I probably need. And so uh, that's kind of where I'm at with the update on these. Um, I hope that uh, uh, helps you in your decision-making. Again, uh, in a room, uh, most of the time, the day one, day two, and even the classic uh, view mode on the screens are bright enough for any room. Uh, the covert one's dark for <laughs> almost any situation, unless you're just in complete night. Uh, and so, uh, you know, if you if you you know have these in a room, you have them in your vehicle, you know those kind of things, you can see the screen. But in full sunlight, you just can't see the screen. And uh, uh, 
the battery uh, not letting me know that it's that it's died is it's a factor on my using it as a daily carry. Um, the the GMRS one, I never usually let it run down to the point where it just dies. I don't just have it on because I don't really have GMRS uh, uh, near my house. I have to come into the springs in order to get GMRS. And so this one, I had I hadn't noticed the problem with the battery dying and it, and it just not telling me and it's just being dead. But the ham radio one, I leave it on 24 seven. And uh, when it's dying and there's no indicator, you know, unless I go over there and turn the knob or press the buttons, I didn't know it, it died on me. And so uh, things to think about uh, with the uh, Ocean Wuxin radios from Better Safe Radios. Uh, again, they've got the uh, SHTF programming in them, uh, 400 or 200 ish frequencies in the, uh, the GMRS version. Uh, over 800 frequencies uh, programmed in in the uh, in the the ham radio version, uh, but uh, just note uh, the the problem with the screen in daylight and uh, the issues with the 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 battery um, going out. And it's been lasting, you know, I'd say upwards of a day for sure. Uh, so the battery on it is is definitely keeping it on. It's just I never know when it dies. All right, so. Uh, appreciate you watching. This is Ham Solo K0FYR or WRMV759, and I'll say 73 for now.